Have you ever wondered why do highlighters seem to glow so brightly? We are going to learn about all of this and more today with my glowing lava lamp experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab on Netflix. And on my channel, we learn about all things science and space. So grab those highlighters and those black lights because this kitchen is about to glow. For this one, you're going to need a glass of water filled about three-fourths the way up, a yellow highlighter, pliers, oil to fill your glass the rest of the way up, a black light, and a fourth cup of salt. Adults and parents, you'll wanna do this one. Take your pliers and grab the inside of the end of your highlighter and just bend it in. Bend it towards the center and pop, it comes right off. Now, I'm gonna wear gloves for this one. You don't need to because it is just highlighter ink after all, but I don't want my fingers to get stained, so I'm going to. So go ahead and take the tube that's inside the highlighter out. This contains your highlighter ink. Now what you wanna do is squeeze it inside your glass of water. Three, two, one. <laughs> Doesn't that look so cool? Now you'll notice that the highlighter seems to glow even though we don't have our black light on. Why is that? Well, it's because highlighter contains phosphors and phosphors make this fluorescent. That means it has the ability to absorb ultraviolet light and re-emit some of that light as visible light, light we see with our eyes. Basically, it means it glows, but where is the ultraviolet light, right? That usually comes from our black light, but we don't have that on. There is always ambient ultraviolet light in any room that you're in, and that is what is making our highlighter glow. Next, you wanna take your oil and fill your glass the rest of the way up. So you'll notice that the oil is rising to the top. This is because oil is less dense than water, so it's going to float right on top of the water. And now we can make this glow. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. So you can see everywhere that the highlighter is, is glowing. It is actually fluorescing. And now we can transform this into a lava lamp with our salt. So what you wanna do is just take a handful of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on so it's glowing as we do this. And you may need this much, you may not. It depends on how many times you wanna do your lava lamp. But just go ahead and take a handful of salt and sprinkle it all across the top. The salt is denser than the oil and the water. And as it falls down through the oil, it grabs on to some of that oil, bringing the oil down to the bottom. But then the salt dissolves and that oil is released back up to the top. Because remember, oil is less dense than water. So it rises back up to the top, creating that lava lamp effect. Another way to create your lava lamp effect is with Alka-Seltzer tablets. Just go ahead and throw these in, just like this. And those bubbles are bubbling to the top. Now, if you wanna experiment within the experiments, you can try different oils. You can try sugar instead of salt, and you can try different highlighter colors just to see what happens. If you try any of these, let me know what you find. Thanks for making glow in the dark lava lamps with me. If you like this one, check out my best selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments that are fun for the whole family. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe to learn about all things science and space. And remember to stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science lab.